it is a built-in blender add-on. To enable it, go to the preferences, add-on tab, search carver and check this box. Here you can see info and settings. And here you can see shortcut kits. You can assign your own shortcut kits. Then close this. Now I will add a tube to demonstrate the tool. I will switch to the orthographic view because this tool gives the best results in the orthographic view. You can use it in perspective view also to create details. Press shift ctrl x to turn on the add-on. Now your boolean mode is active. Here you can see it. Make sure first you select the object and then start add-on. If you press and hold the shift key, then you will get this ribbon option here. It is like a slice operation. Here you can see different options and their shortcut keys. We will see all the options one by one. First option is the cut type. There are three cut types and you can switch between them by pressing spacebar. You can see different cut types here. Rectangle, line, circle. You can press spacebar to change the cut type. First cut type is the rectangle. To use it, click to the start point, then drag your mouse, then click to the second point to confirm the boolean operation. Like this. In modifier tab, you can see boolean modifier. This add-on works with modifiers. Hence, you can do the modeling in a non-destructive way. You can combine different modifiers together to achieve your design. Now we will see another option. Delete this boolean modifier and cutter object. Press shift ctrl x to start the operation. Start to create a rectangle and press Q to turn on the apply operation. Then select the second point and confirm the operation. Now you are not going to get a cutter object or a boolean modifier. It will apply a boolean modifier automatically like this and you will get this kind of results. Press ctrl Z to undo that. Now our 3D cursor is at the center of the cube. We can use it to decide the depth of the boolean. Run the add-on. Now press D to turn on the cursor depth and create one more time rectangle cut. Now you can see with this option we will get the cursor depth for the boolean. If the cursor depth option is disabled then we can bisect the object. You can change the position of the cursor by pressing Ctrl left click. In this way you can determine the depth for the boolean. Now my cursor is here and I will create a cut like this and I will get results like this. In this way you can use the cursor depth in your advantage to create details. One more time run the add-on and hit the space bar to switch the cut type to line. Now we will see the line cut type. All other options are the same for this cut type also. There is an option bevel update which we can use if we already have a bevel modifier on the object. Line tool is useful to create polygonal cuts. It also allows you to bisect one or more objects. To use the line tool, click to a start point. You can hold the control key to move incrementally, then move to the desired end point and then press spacebar to confirm the cut. Now my cursor depth is on, hence I have got this type of result. You can see it here. One thing you need to understand. When add-on is running, you can't switch in between views. Now one more time, I need to run the add-on and this time we will turn off the cursor depth. And similarly, I will create a line cut. And you can see the result here. Now I am going to show you one example of a reboot option. Start to create cut with a line cut type. During the cut, if you press shift key, you will activate the reboot option. At the end of the cut, press shift key and the space bar to complete reboot boolean operation. And you will get slice object like this. Press the right click to exit from the add-on. Now we will try the third cut type, circle. Now select the object and run the add-on with the shift ctrl x. Then hit the space bar to get the circle cut type. You can change the subdivisions for the circle by pressing the W or X key. I will go with the 24 subdivisions and all other options will be same. To create a circle, select the point, drag your mouse to adjust the radius, press and hold the ALT key to move the position of the circle, then hit the left mouse click to confirm the operation. 
In this way, you can use the circle cut type. Here you can see the result. Now we will see another feature of this add-on, which is the profile brush. First select the object and run the add-on. Then press B to turn on this profile brush option. You can see here the brush profile. Press the S key to scale it down. Hold Alt key to move it. Left click and move the mouse to rotate it. Hold the control key to rotate with 45 degree steps. Use arrow keys to increase or decrease the instances. Press T to change the brush type to difference boolean operation or union boolean operation. Press W or X to change the brush profile. Press D and move your mouse on the horizontal axis to change the thickness of the boolean. Then hit the spacebar to confirm the boolean operation. Like this, you will get this kind of result. There is one more feature in this add-on, which is the custom profile for your brush. You can create your own brush profiles with 2D shapes. To demonstrate this, I am going to add a plane. With this plane, I will create a simple star shape. Select these words and scale them down and you will get a star shape. Now go to the edit and preferences and open up this carver add-ons info and settings. Here in the profile prefix, you can see carver underscore profile dash. You should write this prefix before the star shape to read it as a brush profile. So just copy it, then close this preferences, go to the outliner and rename this plane. Paste that prefix before the name of the object. I will give the name star. Now select the object and run the add-on. Press B to turn on the brush profile. Press W to change the brush profile. And here I have my star brush profile. Now adjust the scale and depth to create the simple star boolean. Your brush profile is limited only for current project. You can create multiple brush profiles then save them in your asset library, then bring them in your different projects and you can use them at there. So this is about the Carver add-on and it is simple and powerful built-in Blender add-on for modeling. So that's it for today. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye, see so you next video. Take care.